Hello and welcome to another edition of Mixed Mowers. This again will be a very very short video. I have now completed the Quocar cylinder mower and just want to give you an update because some of the parts what I had to get into were quite tricky and I'm not quite sure whether you guys know where they are. So rather than just leaving it be, I'll give you a quick update of what I've done and where the bits were, the bolts were, because they were quite tricky as I say and it will give a bit of information to other people if they have the same problem. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty and let's check out this Quocast cylinder mower. Do you feel the okay, and here it is. I've got you on a GoPro stick so you may be a little bit wobbly, but I just want to make sure and get you nice and close to show you where these areas are. So I managed to fit the um, the cover on. I did have some damage at the bottom which I've had to take off but it doesn't actually expose the the underside so that's now fitted as well which I was a bit worried about because I thought I had to drill and tap the the bolts out but um, as it turns out they were fine so that was a, an easy little fix. Number two was this this uh, grass box bar when I picked it up the fella had it let me take it off the fella had it down here on, on that roller just there and on there and it the box kept falling off it wasn't until I did some research myself on YouTube last night and found out it actually goes on that lug there and then just sits on I get it in it sits in that lug there and when it pushes down it's a bit higher so that was that nice little fix I also managed to do the um, the guard so a big shout out to Pete who subscribed to my channel last night so thanks Pete he showed me where it went and literally it bolts onto here and onto here goes round and then it then protects any debris coming in into the pulley system so thanks for that Pete much appreciated it was a bit of a pickle to fit actually and he did say it would be um, you have to remove this bolt here this bolt here then underneath here in the depths there's one little tiny bolt just inside there you might just better make it out so what I did was I loosened the front two engine bolts and just put a small wedge underneath and just tease the engine up which gave me access to that bolt there's one on the other side also um, I was pulling away at this this housing and it just would not come away I even took this this part of the pulley system still couldn't figure out where it's going on it's just full of junk so um, I cleaned it with petrol give it a good blast off of it with my air compressor and found my bolt here and one on the other side so then I both fitted and these bolts are fitted back on I also managed to do the pull cord and it was a good job I did because when I went to um, inspect the pull cord because it wasn't quite retracting all the way back um, the very end piece of cord was literally down to, to the last couple of segments of of cord so it would have snapped at any minute so there's plenty of cord on there and the cord is actually in really good condition so I um, put another turn on the on the pulley system and re-threaded the cord back through what I also had to do was I had to replace the throttle lever because when I Put this back on the um, the throttle part here snapped so I had to use a hater part I didn't have a quo cast part at all so unfortunately the, the controls I ran the wrong way so I might just scratch this off a bit of fine sandpaper and just get some stickers to put it around the other way so but that, that all now all now works as it should do I'm just going to cable tie that, that off there so it's nice and tidy I refitted the exhaust clamp as well um, what else did I do? Did an oil change, which is quite easy. Just take this guard off, fill it one end, and check it the other. That's nice and easy. I dare say you could probably just tip it up this way to do it. But um, I checked on uh, on YouTube again, and it said to do it the other side. So that's just four screws, two here and two at the front. So that comes off nice and easy. Um, I did an all over general good clean and bathed it with uh, a petrol bath just just to get all the stuff out the fins so it cools down nicer 
Um, now it's all fitted, I'll just show you how it runs. I have had it running today and it runs quite nice, so let me just put you on my tripod and uh, show you that. Okay, I just fitted that cable tie just there and uh, that's all nice and tidy now. So let's just fire it up and you'll be able to see the blades work and everything else. a fantastic result as I say this mower cost me absolutely nothing just for petrol to go along and pick it up and that's only a couple of miles away I also did manage to adjust the blades as well just by taking some of the slack out of the pulley adjustment it only wants a couple of turns just to allow the blades to stop rotating after you release the blade handle as a safety feature that needs to be done you can't have the blades running continuously so that's all now been done You've now seen this lawnmower from start to finish, from where it was not running at all, to now where it's fully running, serviced, and now gonna be up on my marketplace for sale. This is gonna turn a nice, tidy little profit when the season comes along, and it does stripe the garden fantastically. I have used it on my lawn already, and the, the stripes are really, really good. Unfortunately, it's just not quite big enough for what I would need. So, thank you very much for joining this edition of Mixed Mowers. I hope you found it informative and also a bit of fun as we went along this is a mower that is not generally i work on but as i say unless you try these mowers you just you just don't know and they seem relatively easy to work on a little bit fiddly in areas but some something we can all overcome so thank you very much for joining me and i hope to see you all again very very soon Do you feel the